G'day everyone, welcome back. In this episode, we're gonna take another look at that amazing smart top module that I described in the video linked up here. And I'll show you a little trick that you might need if you've changed your head unit. So for those of you that are new to the channel, thanks for stopping by, I really hope you enjoy it. If you like this kind of content with my own cars, this little SLK, a Maserati Gran Turismo, and a Mercedes CL500, it'd be great to have you as a subscriber. So those of you that saw the original Smart Top video will know that it's a fantastic thing to get for an SLK or an SL. You can operate the roof while the car is moving, and you can also do lots of clever things with the remote key. Um, but one of the problems that you do get is if you have installed an aftermarket um, head unit like this, the way that the module is programmed is through the uh, display on the dashboard here. And that display does not continue to function if you have an aftermarket head unit. But there's a very clever way that you can uh, get into the system and program it even without the original head unit. So the instructions say that uh, you need to turn the uh, key to the accessory position, which is just there. And uh, then you press and hold the end call button here, except this time you hold it until it blinks twice like that. Now you're in programming mode, and I think you just saw it click the left arrow once and the right arrow once. What that means is that that is function number one, the left arrow, and the option is on the right arrow. So it's function one, setting one. So if I press the up arrow here, you will see that it now indicates in the left indicator, the function number two, and then it will indicate on the, the right indicator what setting it's on. So that says function two, setting one. And if we keep going, we get function three, setting whatever that is, six, five, I've lost count. Setting four is, is at one. Setting five is at one. And if you look at this table here, you can see that the function numbers down here and the code is along here. And by working out how many clicks there are on each of the indicators, you can work out what the programming is set to. It's pretty clever. And to exit out of that setting, you just uh, press the down arrow and it just flashes the uh, indicators once to show that it has finished programming. So I have to say that is really clever. It's like you have to think in a code, like you're sending Morse code or something. You have to count the number of dots and dashes or flashes from the left and right indicators to, to work out what setting it's in. But it's a fantastic way of getting around the problem of not being able to use the, the original factory head unit, but you can still program your Mods for Cars module. Anyway, that's about it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful about how to program the modules on these cars. Uh, if you've got any comments or if you've got any questions about how to do it, just drop them down below and I'll, uh, I'll read them and uh, get back to you. Anyway, that's just about it for this video. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to smash that like. It'd be great to have you as a subscriber and hit that notification bell. You can follow me on Instagram down here. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now. Oh,